Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 3 assignment of Industrial Internet of Things 4.0 course. So please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video, you may miss uh, if I change any answer in between the video. So please watch till the end. Friends, these are 100% correct answers. No, there is no doubt in that. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section and try to reply for the valid queries. So let's get into the video without any late. So first question, which of the following is true regarding cyber physical systems? So for first question, the answer is option C. They are network set of embedded systems. So mark third option. And second one, what are the five C's in CPS? 5C architecture for industry 4.0. So the answer for second question is option A. The 5 C's are connection, conversion, cyber, cognition, and configuration. These are the 5 C's of uh, CPS architecture. So option A is correct. Moving on to the third one. What are smart sensors? So the answer is option A. They are integration of sensors and actuators with a processor and a communication module. Guys, option A is uh, uh, correct. Uh, but they did not mention about uh, the C option, but I have seen uh, something like very narrow range like that. So, but they gave wide range, so it may not be the answer. And if A is the answer, then if B is not the answer and A is the answer, so only one answer is possible here because they gave other option as all the above. So, there may not be chance of C as an answer. So, A could be the answer for this question and remaining questions we have exact answers and three also the exact answer maximum possibility is option a only so just a small uh, confusion they they have given in the assignment so a is the answer moving on to the fourth one which of the following is an example of collaboration platform so the answer for fourth question exact answer is option d pro workflow Fifth question, state true or false. So, PLM handles a product completely from single part of the product to entire portfolio of that product. So, fifth question, the answer is true. They give correct statement only. That is true. That is option A. Moving on to sixth one. In PLM, how many phases does the product life cycle have? The answer is option C, five. Five, five phases of product life cycle in PLM and seventh one dash is indirect or direct views of physical world environments which are augmented with computer generated superimposed images the answer is first option that is augmented reality option A and eighth one what are the four different types of augmented reality the answer for 8th question is option D that is marker based, markerless, production ba uh, projection based and superimposition based that is 4th option. And moving on to ninth one, dash augmented reality is commonly utilized for mapping directions. The answer is option B markerless. And moving on to the 10th one. Which VR type uses head mounted displays and motion detecting devices to simulate users experiences? The answer for 10th question is option A fully immersive simulations and 11th one state true or false linear regression logistic and random forest decision tree are some of most popular unsupervised learning algorithms. The answer is exactly not true it is false. Because uh, these algorithms are super uh, type of supervised learning algorithms, but they gave unsupervised, so it is absolutely false. And twelfth one, a computer program without AI uses dash. The answer is option A, large database and algorithm search. And uh, the computer program with AI uses large knowledge base and heuristic search. So the answer is. Option A. And moving on to 13th one. 
which of the following is correct? The answer is option C. Because deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which is a subset, sub, subset of artificial intelligence. So, the symbol represents subset. It means deep learning will be uh, contained in machine learning. I will show you in a diagrammatic way, which is also explained in lecture. So, I use this space. So, this is deep learning. This is machine learning. And all these exist in artificial intelligence. So, C is the answer. And 14th one, big data consists of. So, the answer for 14th question is option A, both structured and non-structured data. And final question, that is 15th one, what does the word veracity indicate in big data? The answer is fourth option. It indicates biasness in the data, unusualness and noise in data. So, fourth option is the correct one, that is option D. So friends, these are the solutions for uh, IoT 4.0 course. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. So for further more videos uh, regarding this course and also the other course, keep supporting our channel and spread the uh, videos uh, for any needy friends. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.